Hello, and welcome to the Drug Life Cycle Minute. I'm your host, Philip Day. My guest today is Dr. Mukesh Kumar, the Chief Innovation Officer of Drug Life Cycle, DLTA. Hello, Dr. Kumar. Hello, Philip. How are you? I'm doing okay. Our topic today is this. What are clinical trials? So, Dr. Kumar, can you tell me exactly what is a clinical trial? Before a product is approved for sale, uh, approved for patients to use, it has to be tested in people under control conditions to find out if there are any side effects or uh, if this drug works. So before any drug is approved, it has to go through certain clinical testing, uh, which is called clinical trials. Uh, and only after the results of the trial are available would FDA allow this, trial to, this drug to be sold to patients. Okay. Now, there are different phases, too, um, phases such as one, two, and three. I'm familiar with those. Um, please tell us about those phases. So uh, when a drug is developed, it goes through many, many, many cycles of development. It goes through many cycles of testing. In the beginning, when we are mostly focused on finding out the safety of the trial, we do smaller trials. Uh, these are called phase one trials. And as we get comfortable with the safety of the drug, we start doing larger trials uh, to find out if the drug works. So phase two and phase three are larger trials than phase one. Uh, um, okay. Typically, you know, drug will do phase one, then phase two, then phase three. And, the, and, the, and these trials are, are in increasing number of patients and increasing number of locations where the testing would be done. Okay. Well, are these phases done differently? Please, please fill us in on that. Well, see, as I said, the main difference between these phases is mm -hmm. the size of the trial. A phase one trial is a very small trial done at few, few locations, few clinics, while a phase two and phase three are larger trials. They are done in many more patients and many more clinics are involved in it. Uh, besides the size of the trial, uh, the, from the operational point of view, the trials are identical. They're very similar how the trials are done. No matter if the trial is small or large, the kind of approvals you will need from FDA are similar. The kind of uh, steps you would do to execute the trial are very similar. So in terms of operations, they're very similar. Obviously, they are, they're different in scope of the trial. Uh, a large trial is done primarily to replicate, uh, to mimic uh, the commercial market of a product, while a small trial is done to find out if it is safe. All right. That is very helpful. And uh, I, I know we'll be talking more about these phases. Dr. Kumar, thank you so much for joining us for the Drug Lifecycle Minute. And you can find out more about us at www.druglifecycle.com. Like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn. Take control with BLTA. Have a healthy day.